Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily videos on artificial intelligence for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be doing an AI automation for the app of Twitch. Now, we think this fits well with the fact that we plan on doing a fully AI automated drop shipping store and live streaming the entire event. So make sure to follow us on Twitch. We're also going to be live streaming it on YouTube and other platforms like TikTok. In today's video though, we're going to go ahead and use our profile as the guinea pig here and we're going to set up an AI automation that when we do a new stream, we're going to send it to our Twitter with a very specific type of tweet. Furthermore, we're going to go ahead and explore the documentation a little, see what we can do with the API and go from there. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we are over in Zapier here. We're going to go ahead and create a new Zap and we're just going to call it Twitch integration. As always, you can find the Zap we create today in the description down below so you can do it into your own Zapier project for completely free. From here though, we're going to go ahead and set a trigger here. Make sure you have your Twitch account connected so the API can get access here. We're going to go ahead and do Twitch. Here we go. And right now, what's natively available is new follower, new live stream, and new live stream by streamer. For us, we're gonna do new live stream by streamer, but there could be some really cool stuff you could do with new follower. For now though, we're gonna do this, hit continue. We are connected to our Web Cafe AI Twitch, and then the streamer is gonna be us. And then we're gonna like continue here. But as you see, you could probably, you know, target a certain streamer if you choose to do so in that context. From here, that we're gonna go ahead and test this, and there should be no stream yet. So we're gonna utilize Zapier's new feature here. We're gonna be able to create data. And in order to do so, all you needed to do if you don't have data for a trigger on a zap is hit skip test. And then as you see here, we have data that we can go ahead and start manipulating. So from this data, we're gonna do a chat GPT block here. We're gonna do an event of conversation. Hit continue here. We're gonna choose our chat GPT account here at WebCAF AI. Hit continue. And then we have all the information we need to start inputting. So the first thing I wanna do right off the bat is gonna do TW for Twitch. And we're gonna say new stream. This can be a random string of any 32 characters. This is gonna ensure consistent outputs. Next thing I'm gonna do is up the model to GBT4. You can use 3.5, but I like upping it for four for comprehension stuff. And then from here, we can go ahead and keep everything else the same. And let's go ahead and start editing this user message. Let's go ahead and start providing context. We're gonna say context. We have just started a stream on our channel. And then this is gonna be stream data, semicolon. We're gonna do title. We'll go ahead and put username. Now, obviously, whatever, it's gonna use previous data points. So if you did a stream before, this would be your data. From here though, we can go ahead and do uh, parentheses. And we're gonna go ahead and put in title here, put in our username here. See if there's anything else that we'd wanna put in here. Could probably put the thumbnail if needed, but don't actually need that in this context and everything else looks good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and say a couple of things here. First thing we're gonna say, generate a tweet. Let's just start with that. I'm gonna add a parameter block. Essentially in the parameter block, we're gonna say uh, max, uh, max of, let's say 10 to 20 words. And then we can say, make sure to include these words. So we can go ahead and add some keywords here that we want to make sure that can be added to every single tweet and everything else is going to be variable, right? So let's just say uh, we are giving away a PS5. Maybe every single stream you give away a PS5. I don't know. <laughs> For now, we're going to generate tweets. Um, we're going to say announcing the stream is live. Now, here's a couple things. It's gonna provide the title you provide for your stream and then your underlying username. If you wanna add that into the tweet, it's gonna be added as well. But the title is gonna give most the context of what the tweet is about, right? Because it's grabbing the stream data here. So what we do here is let's go ahead and test this out. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Perfect, so as you see here, we got live now, Zapier plays magic, you know, grab my username. Uh, the gathering on Diablo 3, join our stream. We are giving away PS5, hashtag Zapier games. Now, a lot of this is specific to Zapier because that's the data we are playing around with. You can obviously, you know, change this tweet however you'd want the tweet to look like for a new stream. I could add, you know, tonage here. Um, so I could be like tone sarcastic. So maybe that's part of your character type as a streamer is you're very sarcastic. So I'm gonna retest this. 
Guess we're not busy enough. Zapier juggling magic and Diablo 3 on our P on our stream. And then use the keywords PS5 giveaway. Why not? Perfect. So from here, as you see, we have one little issue. We got quotation marks. If you're familiar and you've been following this channel, you already know what's next. We're gonna use a formatter block here. Formatter blocks are great for taking outputs from ChatGPT and restructuring them or changing the data. So we're gonna go ahead and do a replace. And we're gonna hit the inputs of that output. So that's gonna be assistant response message. And then we're gonna do find quotation. And then we're gonna replace it with nothing. So therefore, our tweet is just gonna be the underlying text we care about. And there we go. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and grab that. And we're gonna send this to Twitter. So I'm gonna use Twitter here. I'm gonna do create tweet. Hit continue here. Follow us at WebCAF AI if you wanna get daily artificial intelligence. Uh, from here, we're gonna go ahead and put in our tweet, not the GBT output. We're actually gonna put the formatted output here. Perfect. And then we can add an imager GIF. So maybe the imager GIF we wanna add is gonna be your thumbnail URL. And then on top of that, we gotta add a link to the stream. So let's see if I can find that. All right, and then we got the stream info URL. This will bring us straight to the stream that's live. So let's say we have our underlying tweet here. Uh, that is going to be a variable with that one fixed piece of data that we requested, which was the PS5. So obviously, if you don't want that, you delete it. But then we also have the link to the stream. There may be context here where you do want fixed text to be found within every single uh, one of your tweets. So what you would do here is just add watch now. You could add an emoji. Um, and basically, this will be a variable every single time. This will be a variable every single time. But now we have fixed text here that will show up every single time that says watch now. Click the link. Send it. And then as you see here, we got our thumbnail URL associated with the stream. Perfect. Always showing your URLs gives you more space uh, character limit wise. Continue test action that can push that forward. And now we'll have a live tweet when it comes to Twitch gaming and Twitch streaming. And there you go. As you see, if we sent that forward, we got our variable text here, got our nice little fixed text here. We got the thumbnail for the stream and we got a link to it. Pretty cool stuff here. I'm gonna delete that because we're not streaming and we're not Zapier. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna come back over here real quick. And as you know, this is gonna be found in the description. You can add it to your Zapier backend for completely free. Now let me show you some other cool stuff we can do with Twitch here. So if I add another Twitch block here, um, what's really cool about Twitch is that it seamlessly integrates with Zapier. So as you see here, when we do an event that's an action, we can access the um, API. So I do API request here, continue, continue. We can now do certain functions that aren't natively available within Zapier. If we come over to Twitch documentation for developers, all this, in, all these different actions here, we can start utilizing within Zapier and Twitch. So for example, for the function of creating clips, we would use a post function and essentially proceed uh, this way. Obviously you'd have to input the relative variables, but this is all the documentation and all the different functions we can start doing with Twitch within Zapier. So you can do some really complex stuff here, really cool stuff here. Um, I just wanted to show you this real quick. It even gives you the documentation here as well, which is uh, pretty cool. But I hope you learned something today when it comes to AI animation. We do these daily on our channel here, so make sure to follow us. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at WebCafe AI. If you wanna learn more about AI and automation and how that integrates to platforms across industries, Make sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're diving into all 5,000 apps found on Zapier and seeing how we can integrate AI with every single one. Make sure to subscribe for daily artificial content. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.